Hello there GED math students or any math student that is watching this video. In this video I am going to go over how to use the quadratic formula to solve this equation here for x. And the reason this is a quadratic equation is because of this x squared piece right here. That's what makes it quadratic. Now there's more than one way to solve this particular equation but again in this video I am going to focus on the quadratic formula. You do not need to memorize this formula. I will write it down here in a second. You will see this on the formula sheet for the GED math test. I'm also going to show you how to use the GED calculator to make this type of problem a little bit easier for you to do. So the first thing you want to do is set this equation equal to zero. That's the first thing you want to do. And let me show you how to do that. I'm going to put up um, a little wall here. Well, Actually, before I do that, I'm going to rewrite it like this. Watch. I'm not really changing anything. I'm just going to leave some space. So watch. I'm just going to erase this and write it like this. Equals 6. Again, I didn't change anything. I just left some space here, and you'll see why in a second. I'm going to put up my Weiss wall just to separate my left hand side from my right hand side. I call this the Weiss wall because I'm Mr. Weiss right here. Weiss wall. Now what I need to do is move this 6 to the other side so I need to make this 6 go to 0. So to do that I'll just subtract 6 because 6 minus 6 is 0. But what you do to the right-hand side of the wall, you have to do to the left-hand side of the wall. So I will subtract 6 over here. So I just subtracted 6 from both sides of the equation because I want this piece to go to 0. So what that gives us is 5x squared minus 4x minus 6 equals 0 right because 6 minus 6 is 0 and this is how I want the equation to be written so I can use the quadratic formula so I just rewrote it like this so just remember this I'm going to erase this and rewrite this equation so everything's kind of nice and clean Let me clear this out 5x squared minus 4x minus 6 let's do this so 5x squared minus 4x minus 6 equals 0. Now to use the quadratic formula what you need to do is identify your a value, your b value, and your c value. The a value is whatever the x squared is multiplied by so or what's ever in front of the x squared. So this x squared is multiplied, there's a time sign here, by 5. So that's my a value. My a value is 5. The b value is whatever is in front of the x, or whatever the x is multiplied by. And the x is multiplied by negative 4, or minus 4. Now, sometimes I interchange minus and negative. But the thing you need to remember is you need to bring this minus sign with the 4. You need to attach this with the 4. So b is minus 4. And C is the number without the letter. So that would be this piece. And don't forget to bring this minus sign along with the 6. So C is this number here without the letter. So that's minus 6. Now I have my A value, my B value, and my C value. And I can plug that into the quadratic formula. This is the quadratic formula x equals negative b, that's a b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, and all of that is divided by 2 times a. Now you do not need to memorize this formula. It is on the GED formula sheet. Now, what you can do is you can do this by hand, where you can plug 5 in for a right here, and wherever you see a b, you plug in negative 4, which would be here and here. 
and so on and simplify it by hand. But I'm going to show you how you can use the GED calculator to make this whole process much easier to do. So let me bring the GED calculator up here. And it looks just like this. Now, I'm going to really get into detail here and show you how to use this to store numbers in for letters. And one thing I want to show you is I want to kind of clear everything out. You don't have to do this step, but I think it's a good habit. But again, if you're taking the test, you don't need to do this. But I like to clear out right here where it says clear variables, right? So to access these letters or to access anything in green, to access the stuff above the buttons, you hit the second button first. So what I'm going to do is hit second and then this button right here. And that really gave me access to clearing the variables. And I just want to clear out my variables. So it says, yes, I'll hit enter. Everything's cleared out. You don't have to do that step. Now, I want to show you kind of what's going on here. We have a whole bunch of letters on this calculator. X, Y, Z, T, A, B, C. If you hit this button right here, I'm just going to hit this without hitting the second button, just this button. Actually, that's not the one I wanted to hit. I wanted to hit this recall button real quick. And again, you don't need to do this. I'm just showing you some cool stuff on the calculator. I want to hit or use this recall button. So to do that, I hit second storage and that'll give me access to the thing right above it in green. So second storage. And you should notice that there's a whole bunch of letters and numbers here. So it says X equals zero, Y equals zero. Z equals zero, T equals zero. And then it says A is zero, B is zero, and C is zero. I want to change these values. I want A not to equal zero. I want, want it to be five. And I want B to be minus four. And I want C to be minus six. Let me show you how to change these numbers. So I'm going to quit out of here. To quit, you just hit the second mode button and that'll give you access to quit. So go second mode. It clears out everything or it get, actually it doesn't clear out everything. It just takes you to the home screen. Watch how I'm going to make the A a five. So you got to kind of do this backwards. You're going to hit the five first right here. Then you'll hit this STO button store. That means storage. And you want five to be stored with the letter A. So now you, you're going to hit this this button here with all the letters on it and you're going to hit it repeatedly until it says A. So watch, I hit it once, it says X. Hit it again, it says Y. I just keep hitting it until it says A. I'm just repeatedly hitting this button. There, it says A. So that means that 5 is stored with A or A equals 5. I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm going to do the same thing with B. I want the B to be stored with negative 4. So I'm going to type in negative 4. Now here's your negative sign. This means negative 4 here. You don't want to use this one. This is the minus button. You want to use this one here. So negative 4. And then I want to store that. So I'll hit the storage button. I want to store that with B. So I'm going to hit this button repeatedly until it says B. Boom, negative four is with B, I hit enter. Then I'll do the same thing with C. So let's do that. I want C to be stored with negative six, so I type the negative six in first right here. Remember to use this for negative. Then I'll hit storage, and I'll hit this repeatedly until it says C. And I hit enter. Now everything's stored. I'm good to go, and what I want to do is now quit out of here. Now when I quit, it doesn't clear anything. It just takes me back to the home screen. So I'm going to go second mode. Now don't worry, those numbers are still there. You can check them by hitting recall. Let's just do that so you see what's going on. So to access the recall, I hit second storage, second storage, and you can go down here, scroll down, and you'll see A is now with 5, right? It says right here, A is 5, A is 5. 
b is negative 4, b is negative 4, and c is negative 6. So I'm good to go. And I hit second mode again to quit. Second mode. Remember, when I quit, it doesn't clear anything. It just takes me back to the home screen. Now what I'm going to do is just plug this in. Watch how this works. It's really cool. I'm going to plug this formula in just like I see it. Now this is a fraction, right? I'm just worried about this piece here. I'm not worried about the x equals. I'm just worried about this piece right here, the actual formula. So watch how I do this. It's a fraction from right here. I'm going to hit my fraction button right here. And then I'm just going to type in negative b. So I'm going to hit negative, not this one, hit this one. And then to get to b, I just hit this button repeatedly until it says b. I'm just hitting this repeatedly. Hopefully you can see that says b. It might be kind of hard to see. And I'm good because I know I stored negative 4 in for b. Now, next it says plus minus. We're going to have to do this in two steps. First, we're going to have to do the plus piece right here. Then we'll have to do the minus piece. So again, there is not a plus minus button on here. So again, I'll do the plus part first. Don't worry about the minus right now, just the plus piece. So I'm going to hit plus. Now I'm going to hit my square root symbol right here, which is right above the x squared. It's right here. That's my square root symbol. So to access that, it's a green symbol above the button. So I need to hit the second button first, then x squared, and that will give me this. So I'm going to go second x squared. I'm going to type in b squared from right here. So I'm going to hit this button repeatedly until it says b. Let's keep hitting it. Right there, and then square the b from right here. And here's your squared button right here. Now. I'm going to hit minus next right here. Then I'm going to hit, now careful here, this is minus, not negative. So I hit the minus button right here this time. So this was minus, this was negative. Again, your minus button's here, your negative button's here. And I'm going to go 4A, right, right here, A. So let's see, I hit this button until it says A. Then I hit C, but careful, now I have to hit my forward button. Be very careful. After you hit this A, you want to hit this right arrow before you enter the C. Don't forget to do that. So hit this right arrow, like so, and now enter the C. And just hit this repeatedly until it says C. Now let's go down to the bottom and enter in 2A. So I'll hit this right here. That takes me to the bottom. I'm going to hit 2A, so 2, and then I'll hit A. I'll hit this repeatedly until it says A. And then I hit Enter, and I'm done. And that's my answer right there. It's square root of 34 plus 2 divided by 5. You're probably thinking, what's that mean? But that's how it'll probably show up on the um, multiple choice part of the test. It'll show up probably something like this. So I'm going to write that down. x is equal to square root of 34 plus 2 divided by 5. That's the first solution. x equals the square root of 34 plus 2 divided by 5. So that's the, now there's two solutions here. Let me bring my calculator back up here. If I can find it. Uh, there it is. So I just wrote this piece right here. That's the first solution. Now you might be thinking, what does that mean? You can change this to a decimal. Watch how I change this to a decimal. You hit this toggle button right here. Watch this. So if you want to write this piece as a decimal, it would be 1.566 and so on. So this whole thing, let me bring that back up. Let me bring the calculator back up here. This whole thing here, the square root of 34 plus 2 divided by 5, really equals 1.566, about 1 1.6. So if you need to write it as a decimal, you just hit this toggle button and it converts it to a decimal. Now, we have to do the other part where we subtract. 
where we do the subtraction piece right here because this set this says add and subtract so let me show you how to quickly do that I'm gonna go back up here to the formula right here I'm gonna I hit this up arrow and this gets highlighted so once it's highlighted I'm gonna hit enter watch and it shows up again down at the bottom and what I'm going to do now is go over here so I don't have to retype the whole thing in. And I'll change this piece here to now a minus sign because it said plus or minus. So now I'm doing the minus piece right here. So I'm going to change this to a minus sign right here. Boom. And then I'll just hit enter and that will give me my other answer. And this is my other answer. It looks very similar to this. It's negative square root 34 plus 2 divided by 5. So my other answer is x equals negative square root of 34 plus 2 divided by 5. And there you go. So if you need to write it in this form, those are your two solutions. And remember, you could have, if you need to change the second solution right over here, if you need to change the second solution to a decimal, just hit your toggle button right here. And the second solution written as a decimal would be negative 0.766 or about negative 0.8 if you need to round it, something like that. So that's the way you can deal with the quadratic formula without having to punch everything in by hand and that's how you use the GED math calculator to kind of approach these problems so when you solve this equation for X these are your two solutions written in radical form here and here they look exactly the same almost this just has that negative sign in front of it remember if you needed to change this to a decimal just hit that toggle button like I showed you and same for this so there you go that's one way to solve this quadratic equation and I hope um, my explanation of how to use the GED math calculator was beneficial. As always, thanks for watching my videos. Have a great day.